Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. All those links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. Um, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. I give away two four-question text readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes, post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart for that. Um, and I give away one mystery crystal box, hashtag crystals for that. Um, cancer baby season is upon us. Happy birthday, my darlings. Um, I was doing a sale on tarot and Oracle that has sold out. I was doing $10 off on phone readings. I got booked out. So, um, as of right now, what's left for cancer baby season, we've got mystery crystal boxes that are $22 and 22 cents. It's a decent sized box. You get quite a few crystals. Um, I am open for pre-recorded video readings that are 20% off. I'm open for text readings. The text readings, you usually get them the same day. They are fairly quick unless, you know, it's the weekend. I try not to practice divination on Sundays, okay? Um, all right, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, YouTube family, puppies, health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance, okay? All right, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my beautiful cancer babies, please. Well, that came flying out. So we've got Reckless. We've got Compromise. We've got Divorce under the deck. We've got Reconcile. We've got Mystery. And we've got Third Party. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. So, Cancer, what we have here is a situation where you're dealing with a person that is basically freaked the F out. Okay. This person is scared shitless right now. Guys, I got a little rash on my face. I'm sorry, but this person is, is, is bugged out. Okay. They're scared. I think that something happened here where you think that there might be a third party. And I say think because it's a mystery. Uh, you're sitting in a little bit of Eight of Swords energy right now where you may have a feeling something's going on, but you don't have the proof. And I feel like at this point in your life, that's enough for you to say, deuces, I'm out. Bye, Felicia. Deuces. Okay? Um, and they're scared. They're really, really scared because this person knows that your cutoff game is nothing to play with. Um, this person may have potentially cheated on you in the past cancer and they know that your foot is already out the door and all it would take is one little push from them and you're gone okay uh you saw something you heard something and it it made you feel like there could potentially be cheating happening and that's all you need to know it all it takes is one minute for you to feel unsafe or to ask that question in your head is someone else in the picture and you're gone. You don't need to see it. You don't need proof. You need none of the above. All you need is the tiniest little and you're out the door. That That's how done you are with this person and this situation. And they know it. And they know it. Cancer, this person is really, really scared. If you guys are married, this person is scared that you're filing for a divorce or cancer. This person knows that you're you're gone for good. And they're they're scared. Literally shitless. Okay. They're coming in to reconcile. They're coming in to compromise. Um, they're coming in to talk it out. They're coming in to try to clear the air. Now, I don't, I don't know as of yet if this person is really cheating or not. I, I don't know if it's a misunderstanding of some sorts. Not sure. We're going to figure that out. But the you ask the quest. It hit right here. Is there someone else? And that's it. That's all you needed to know. As soon as you ask that question in your mind, or as soon as you have that, that 
sick feeling that comes over you that this person is doing it again, oh, you're gone. Yeah, you're gone. And uh, this person knows, they know that they, getting your forgiveness the last time uh, you guys reconciled was a miracle, an absolute miracle. And they know that if there's any type of, if you even remotely get the sense that there's some type of fuckery afoot, oh, you're gone. You're gone. You are so gone. Okay. Anything else here for cancer? We've got resentful and we've got, yes, cancer, something's going to trigger you here. Something is going to make you feel insecure or trigger you. You are still carrying resentment inside of you over what this person puts you through. You're doing the best you can to try to forgive, forget, and try to see if you guys can make this work. But they're going to trigger you by making you feel insecure. And this could just be for literally 30 seconds and you're done. Yeah, you're done. All those feelings come rushing back. All those things that you've been trying to heal from, they just come rushing back. Tell me about cancer. Yep. As soon as this person makes you feel jealous that something that they're keeping a sexual secret from you or that they're sleeping with someone else, oh, done. Oh, no, no, you're not doing it. The thought of you entertaining another person makes me crazy. You're my, yeah, Cancer, you are done. You are done, 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 done sharing your shit. That's it. You're done. Either you're going to be mine and be in this relationship or we're done. Those were your last words to this person. And if they are choosing to mess around, they're going to find out. Let me tell you, if they're willing to, if they're wanting to F around, they're about to find out. This person, they they made their, if they just make you feel insecure for one second, you're gone. And it happened. It happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but they triggered you. And now they're scared. They made the mistake of triggering you. And now they are really scared that they're not going to be able to get you back. So I want to know if this person really cheated. Spirit, tell me about cancer. They did something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cancer, you're about to throw this whole relationship and the man out the window. The man or the woman. You're about to throw all this shit out the window. That's what I just got from these cards. A lot of cards just fell out. <laughs> cancer! Oh man, what is that saying? You're about to throw the baby out with the bathwater? You are not going to believe this. For those of you who know what this means. Okay. Eight of cups. You're gone. You've walked out the house and you are not even looking back. Page of pentacles and the five of cups. They are apologizing for something here. They, they know, they know that at this point, cancer, you see cups represent emotions in tarot, right? At this point, they know that you are only looking at the bad. You don't give a shit about the love no more. You don't give a shit if this is a soul tie. You don't, you, you just don't care. I, I do feel like they're, they're apologizing for something. I don't know what they're apologizing for, but they know that this was it. This was their last chance cancer. And they're afraid that they messed it up. Yeah. They're afraid that you are done that you are done. Things may have been going well for a minute where, you know, the, there was commitment here, there was loyalty, um, Taurus energy, and they made a mistake with the five of wands. They made a mistake. I don't know if you guys went out and this person, you know, maybe looked at a, a waitress or a waiter or was flirting with somebody or said something or did something. I don't know what they did, but with the five of wands, oh, you went ballistic on this person. With the four of swords and the two of swords, you will cut this person off. Go take a nap. Go lay down in the, at the beach. Have yourself a mimosa, strawberry daiquiri, and not give a shit. You have reached a point, Cancer, where you will your cutoff game with this person is nothing to mess. Really, nothing to mess. You will not even shed a tear. This person will not even be an afterthought. They, they, you will leave this person like a, like, like nothing I've, I mean, 
because you're just right there. You're literally right there. All you need is one last push with this individual. That's it. And that I they made some type of mistake here. We've got the yeah. Look, I see you laying out in the sun, Cancer. <laughs> I see you laying out in the sun. I, I see you laying out in the sun. I, I feel like you're going to block this person. You're going to go on vacation. You're going to go to the beach and you're going to be like, Lord Jesus, please don't let this boy be stupid enough to contact me. Lord Jesus, thank you for getting this shit out of my life. Lord Jesus, that, you know, just praying and either you're praying and being thankful or you're just saying, please do not let them show up because I don't want to go to jail tonight. <laughs> you know, like, please, I, cancer, you're out in the sun having a good time. You're, you're just going to cut this person off and go live your best life. Not even an afterthought. The Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands with the Lover's Card. Cancer, I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened here. I don't know if this person had a wandering eye in public. I don't know if they flirted with the waitress or the waiter. I don't know what happened here, but you will cut this person out of your life like it's nothing. I think your person gave someone else attention. I think your person gave someone else attention. And with the 10 of wands, you picked up the whole entire relationship, the man, the woman, the relationship, the headaches, the drama, and you toss them the whole relationship and you tossed it right out the damn balcony, right off the balcony. Uh, you, you're done. You're done. And you don't want to hear shit that they have to say. Wands are communication. Okay, wands are communication and look at how they're trying to text you off the chain. Can we talk about this? It's not what you thought it was, but they put you in eight of swords mode. They put you in eight of swords mode. This could be like, you know, you're, you're walking around in a store and this, this queen of wands energy approaches your person and they're like, Hey, what's up? How you doing? And that's it. You're done. Who is she? I don't care. Who is he? Don't give a shit. I don't care. I just don't want to see any of it anymore. Like that's that all it took was one little push and you're ready for something new. The chariot, the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Cancer, you are so ready. You are, you are entertaining everybody that looks your way. Okay. You are so ready to move into a new relationship. So ready. I, I see you dropping some money here, going on vacation, going out with a group of friends. Yeah. I mean, no, literally, literally zero fucks given at this point on your end. Cancer, this ex is trying to communicate with you. They're trying, I don't know if this was, you know, I mean, this could be somewhat like the secretary that they work with. This could be one of their friend's sisters or brothers. It, it could be anybody. It could be a misunderstanding. You know, the seven of cups could be a misunderstanding. And this ex is, this, this person is trying to get through to you to tell you it's a misunderstanding. Tell me more about this situation, please. Tell me more about what's happening here. Four of Wands. And the Page of Cups. Cancer, this person wants to talk to you. They're asking, Cancer, you may have went home and changed the locks on your house. This person's like, please just let me in. Please let me just talk to you. Please let me just talk to you. Okay, please just hear me out at least before you cut me off. Cancer, with the tower, I mean, you are just, you let, you're, oh no. You're just, you don't want to hear nothing. You just, just walked out. You just threw the whole thing out the window. You threw the whole thing out the window. Look at this in this tower. Someone here jumping out the window. You're about to throw this person off the damn balcony. You are about to, you are literally about to, you don't want to speak to them. 
four of pentacles here, the hanged man and the devil. Cancer, I think that some of you are like, if I, if I, if I stand in front of this person, I'm going to put my hands on them. I can't talk to you because you're going to catch some hands and I don't need charges in my life right now. Cancer, you're seeing red. Whatever happened here, you are not, you cannot think straight when it comes down to this person. You cannot think straight when it comes down to this person, but I have to be honest with you, Cancer. I feel like this is a misunderstanding. With the death card here and temperance, Scorpio energy, I, I think that this person has changed and they really kind of wanted to do the right thing. I think they wanted to do the right thing. But something happened here that may have been out of their control. Like it could be one of their high school friends, sisters, or brothers. You know, I don't think that this person is who you think they are. Tell me a little bit about this Queen of Wands energy. The High Priestess. And the Three of Cups. Well, I, you know, and the Five of Pentacles. This could be someone that, you know, they knew that they were, they're not talking to this person right now. I could promise you that. Okay. They're not talking to this person right now. I could promise you that. But you want to know who I think it is, Cancer? This could be someone that you know your person has slept with. Ace of Wands and the Three of Swords. This could be someone that you know for a fact your person cheated with in the past. This could be a friend that your person has admitted to sleeping with this individual. And you said, you know, so we all have rules. Like me, I don't care if my person has a friend of the opposite sex, but if they've slept with that person, no. No, that barrier has been broken. It's just too easy to, you know... Those boundaries have been crossed already, and it's a no-no for me. Um, and, you know, Cancer, you, you may have come back together with this person saying, listen, I don't give a shit about anything. I, You know, I don't want to hear nothing about you liking other people's pictures, talking to the opposite sex. I don't give a shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to do it. If you want to do it, you don't need to be with me. I'm not telling you you have to accept my rules, but I am done with your shit. I've given you freedom. You've broken my trust. Now, if you want to be with me, this is how life is. And if you don't like it, feel free to leave. And I feel like Cancer with the Five of Pentacles, your person honestly was not speaking to this individual. I think that these two happen to, you know, you, you happen to bump into this person at the store. And this person, you know, goes up to your person and is like, hey, what's up? Long time no see. I do feel that with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, Cancer, your person had every intention of, you know, keeping their word, being long, you know, long term. I, I, I don't feel like your person was entertaining this individual. I, I feel like it was just out of their control and a misunderstanding. I don't think, I'm not too sure that you care. I got to be honest, I'm not too sure that you care, Okay. Um, all right, so let's take it into the extended. Let's see if this person's going to be able to get through to you because cancer, I feel like you got your phone off. You're at the beach, you're at the pool, you're, you know, at lounging, doing your thing, enjoying life. You went on vacation, maybe with multiple friends, you went on a cruise. This person can't seem to get through to you to explain to you what happened. I think right there from the store, you left the store, got into your car, left them there, and that was it. Went home, changed the locks, changed your phone number. I mean, you didn't even want to hear nothing. You know, you may have overreacted, Cancer. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you, might, you might have, I, you know, you might have just jumped the gun here. Okay, just a little too fast. Okay, I understand why you did it. I understand why you did it. Okay, I do. You know, you got triggered. But maybe just hear them out, you know? All right, so let's take it into the extended. Let's see if this is, you know, this misunderstanding is going to clear up. Clear up. Is, is this going to come back together again? Or are you gone? Because Cancer, I feel like you're, you're ready to go somewhere else. You're ready to find new love. You're ready to drop some money and go out, go shopping, love yourself. 
you, I mean, this person isn't even an afterthought at this point. So I don't know. Let's see what happens here. We're going to take it into the extended and see what the outcome of this is. Are you going to end up in a new relationship? Are you going to reconcile? Is this misunderstanding going to be cleared up? Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.